we talked about your strategy, but Facebook in the two other videos that I invite everybody to check on visible banking. Now let's talk about a new, uh, another exciting launch, right? Uh, Fidelis Pay. Yes. So, uh, and you're in partnership uh, with a very well established brand. So could you please talk us through that, uh, that you launched Ten day, in early May, so early just May. a few weeks ago. Yeah, we launched yeah. at the Lara Award, which is a, an award happening and taking place in Berlin, actually. And this award is rewarding, awarding uh, game developers. And uh, we launched Fidelis Pay. Fidelis Pay, what is it? It's a service and product and offering in combination of Fido Payment Services. Fido Payment Services is a subsidiary of Fido Bank. Mm -hmm. It's a payment service provider. Uh, and the, uh, the cooperation is with Avato Digital Entertainment, that's member of the Bertelsmann Group. And Bertelsmann, as you may know, is, or as you, I'm sure you know, yes. is one of the biggest publishing houses in Europe. And servicing game developers, really the big game developers. So um, we met, I don't know, a month ago uh, for the first time, Bertelsmann and FIDA. And um, together we developed this Fidelis Pay uh, offer for those game developers. What is it? Um, Fidelis Pay is the offer and the possibility that you are a game developer, you mm -hmm. uh, are technically developing mass user, multi user games, browser based games, you are within this game a publisher of a virtual currency. We spoke in the other video about Flipmap for instance. Yep. That's could be a part of that. Okay. So you are it will be. Uh, you, you, you are a publisher, <laughs> don't distract me. <laughs> Sorry. You are a publisher of this virtual currency. You need to handle this properly. You need to handle this under the roof of a banking license. You need to handle this following the anti-money laundry regulation. You need to handle this within your KYC regulations and so on. So you need ideally a banking, a full service banking partner. This banking partner must bring along an account mm -hmm. that is capable in exchanging real government currencies into virtual currencies. You can use this virtual currency in the game for whatever, buying your resources for crafting. You do, for instance, you, you prepare or create a helmet which you then sell in your digital middle ages. You get money out of that and suddenly you have a full value chain. You have a virtual currency in your account and then we offer the possibility that you exchange this middle ages currency, for instance, back again in your two days real world currency and you maybe can uh, afford your daily living with it. So this is Fidelis Pay. It's an ecosystem uh, under the roof of a banking license for game developers. That's a f interesting and fascinating move. Uh, you talk about the world of Warcraft quite a bit during your presentation, so... Yeah, it's, it's because, because every, let me everybody say, knows about yeah, it. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah. talking to bankers about online game is a tough job to do, actually. And, <laughs> it is. And, and as soon as you, as you mentioned something like World of Warcraft, some at least have heard about it. Not very many, but some did. So this is a perfect example, and this is why I'm mentioning it. No, no, of course. There would be many, many more other examples, of course. We didn't see many um, hands uh, raised when you said, yeah, okay, yeah. Who, okay, who knows? Okay, a few hands. Uh, who uh, is uh, you using it? Out of, <laughs> out of uh, 60 participants. Now and exactly. Now finally, yeah. But anyway, well, hopefully one day you work with them. Then, um, okay. So, how big will that be actually uh, in 2012 and uh, for the years to come? Well, I think um, we, we shouldn't overestimate the potential on the short term. Like, mm -hmm. like 2012, it's it's a big job actually. It's an it's a kind of a new behavior. We are totally convinced that this will open up uh, tons of new possibilities for game developers. Um, this must be brought to this market actually, the potential must be identified by this market and uh, that's why we are very proud having Bertelsmann Group as a sales partner to this issue. Uh, you know, I think there's no one better in, in selling this and, and with a higher authentic approach selling this than uh, the colleagues at Bertelsmann. We as a bank I think we couldn't do this probably, so this is why I'm very positive about this cooperation. But if we are once in the market, you mm -hmm. know, I think that has a tremendous potential. potential. I, I, re, I compare the issue of virtual currencies always with, uh, let me say, the sixth continent. Okay. It's that, that big or that uh, important, yeah. Uh, we see that a lot, actually. Uh, let's, uh, can we talk about quickly about Facebook credits as well? And uh, yeah. <clears throat> where do you see that or uh, the potential within your own suite of, you know, products? Well, virtual currencies will have... Uh, several sources, like uh, one will be gaming, 
uh, online games, mm -hmm. uh, not to be compared with uh, gambling. Okay? No, no, this no, is no, of course, course. Yeah, yeah. out of the door, this is not possible. Uh, one will be games, one will be social media platforms, one will be bonus programs. Just imagine, you know, we have tons of bonus programs giving sure. you whatever kind of a currency, you do not know what to do with it. And, um, and you mentioned Facebook credits. Well, Facebook credits is, uh, we will see how flexible the system will be. Mm. If I compare it to the real uh, government currencies, will it be more the dollar or will it be more like a Chinese currency? We will see. <laughs> Um, but this is up to, you know, everybody who is a publisher of such a virtual currency is his own, um, let me say, let me compare it to, to a European central bank, is his own central banker. The one who is publishing this currency can decide what will happen to the currency, what is the underlying, what is uh, the conversion rate, what is the, uh, uh, by that uh, volatility maybe, what is the fungibility, can I trade it, can I send it, you know, all this. And just imagine behind every action there could be another customer point, it could be another, a currency could be word to mouth suddenly. Um, I had a tremendously interesting meeting yesterday with Bruce Cahan in, in, in Paris here. Um, he speaks about semant semantic money, I love that, that's absolutely gorgeous, you know, so we, we while other banks are maybe talking about their Facebook approach and having a profile, yes or no, we talk about the full setup and, and what kind of currency we will have in the web in future. I love that. So it's gorgeous, yes, semantic <laughs> currency. Semantic <laughs> currency. <laughs> what is semantic money and currency? It's such a gorgeous mm. um, you know, approach. It's really great and there's so much behind it. Uh, that's for another video in the next six months or so. Uh, last but not least, so you're going to do that. It's a great statement again of innovating and willing to, uh, to be very involved in that space, yeah, yeah. so virtual currencies and credits and gaming in general. Uh, any cross-sell opportunities? Do you have any impact in Germany at least for the Fido brand in terms of driving whether awareness and ideally, you know, like a customer base? Well, well, it's proving again that we are maybe a little bit more innovative than the average mm -hmm. and normal banking. <laughs> I like and that. <laughs> a little bit more, yeah, just a tad. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and, and I think that pays into our brand as well. Mm -hmm. uh, like, uh, you know, I would really, if I would have a dream, I would say I would really dream that that people approach us like, if there's an innovative solution, I first check FIDA and then I have a look to the market. So this, this, this thinking of top of mind in terms of innovation, I think uh, Fidelis Pay, the, the issue of virtual currencies, this makes mm. us again uh, kind of a head of movement. Yeah, worldwide, yeah, almost. So it's uh, fantastic. Well, thanks a lot, Matthias.